And the sad part is, I know that there were some poor idiots out there who were like, oh my God, that's me. I don't think I need this. They have me pegged. And it's like that kind of thinking works on those people. It's like these belief systems encourage you to believe solely on the basis of your skepticism, and that to me is pure evil. It's an evil trick that works on people who haven't been taught how to think logically. And a lot of religions say that the ones who don't believe are the ones most in need of saving. I don't buy it. Okay, do you realize that everything that you're saying is what they say the Antichrist would say? Are you kidding? Ooh. Yeah, no. I know. No, it's true. They say the Antichrist will be a very rational person who will convince people not to believe in God, but to believe in themselves, science, and rational thought. Oh, you're totally the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've created a system in which anyone who tries to argue against that system is labeled as an evil agent of that system. Okay, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like schizophrenia. You know, you can't talk a schizophrenic out of their concept of reality. Their logic is airtight. It's the same thing. Um, before I dropped out of medicine, I did the first six months of my psych residency at the ER in San Diego. And I would admit all the psych patients who wandered in off the street or who were brought in or whatever. This one guy comes in, and as a routine question, I'm like, do you have any brain injuries? And the guy's like, yeah. I'm like, what happened? He says, I fell off my pterodactyl. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. OK. God and the giants turned against me. I fell off my pterodactyl, and then they turned me into a nid. A nid? A nid, you know, like you. Hey, Marsha, you look great. Your haircut looks great. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. So do you know what I'm saying? Um, no, not, not exactly. OK, look, uh, geez, I got to go over this every time I come here. Um, I'm the creatress of the universe, but temporarily I'm a nid. So. So you're God, basically. No. Look, God is like the venture capitalist in this equation, OK? The whole thing was my idea, and it was basically my business plan and his money. So I went ahead. I came up with the whole thing. I put it all together, and now he wants me out. So it's like a hostile takeover. Exactly. Now, here's the thing. Everyone wants to get me because I have the highest intelligence in the universe. That's why I'm the creatress. And then, let me, I drew it. All right, here it is. See, that's me. I'm the creatress, that's me. And God hates me, One, and he hates me. Now over here, you have the giants, okay? They wanna kill me. Mm -hmm. And now you have a bunch of lesser forms all thrown in below them. Then at the very bottom, you have the nids, which includes humans like you and you guys are the least intelligent. That's why they want to, they turn me into a nid because they want to fucking kill me. Which, you know what, fine, I don't, you kill me, fuck it. But what they don't understand is when I go, the whole fucking thing goes. And that's the real problem. I need you to get me back to my former state. Okay, now, if you're the creatress, then why can't you do it yourself? Aha, because I'm temporarily a nid. Look, man, you don't, you're a human. I don't have to tell you. The human brain is just, it's like, it's like being sealed in a vat of chocolate pudding. You don't, I don't have any time. You just, it's like dodging traffic half the time. You got things coming left, right. You don't have any, it's just like fucking disaster everywhere. And then every once in a while, maybe everything lines up just for, you know, like a two seconds, and then it's gone again. You people, you have so few moments of clarity. And if you just give me an EEG, I'm gonna see if I can help you out. He kept asking for an EEG. He was totally convinced that an EEG would restore him. And I was like, well, no, you know, an EEG, it doesn't actually do anything to you. It just kind of measures electrical impulses from your brain, but you know, he wouldn't give up on it. Okay. I tried this tactic. Okay, and let me ask this, and I'm just, and I'm just, I'm trying to understand. Now, if us nids have such a limited intelligence, how is it that the machine that we built can restore you to being the creatures? Obviously, I must have known this was going to happen, so I must have created the machine and you in advance to help me. Well, wow. 
<laughs> right? Oh, I forgot they're Fyro Giants. Okay, Fyro Giants used to be aligned with God, but now they're on the Creatress' side, and they may be able to save him if they can find him. Oh, yeah, and they look just like Nids. Oh, well, now it all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right.